Welcome to Start Building Me, my nightly training concept that consistency is the most important part of training, way more important than intensity and duration. You can go like a bull at a gate once a week, it's kind of pointless folks, not entirely pointless, but really you should do a little bit every day. Keep the juices flowing, as disgusting as that may sound, you want to keep the blood pumping around your body, keep your lymphatic system working, your brain energized, folks. 35 minutes of moderate exercise is what is required per day for the correct fun functioning of your brain, as uh, has been studied many, many times. So as I always say, you can't argue with facts, you can try, but it's pretty pointless. You have to exercise, folks, it's a part of being healthy, you cannot be healthy without it, and that is what I am always going to be here until I go blue in my face trying to recommend to you that you need to exercise. Shouldn't be seen as some burdenous task, I try and get out of here 15, 20 minutes. So if you're not on the ball and if you don't see that start building me is online coming up quick smart, you will miss me. That's the whole point is just being bang on time or at least you don't, don't even have to tune in. You can just be at home and see the Start Building Me is online on Twitch and come and do, um, sorry, not even come here and uh, do some push-ups, do some squats and be on your merry way, folks. That's how it works. You just have to get your blood pumping through your body, folks. It really is quite simple. That is what I'm here to show you by instructing two simple exercises, both compound movements, one being squats, the other being push-ups, the same thing every night. If you want more advanced information, obviously message me through social media. I will be putting more videos up online soon. But as I said, in the evening, I'm just trying to do a basic demonstration of functional resistance training, the most effective, efficient, and um, globally accepted movements required to stay healthy. Jazz in the house, good to see you. Without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's get uh, let's get building. <laughs> anyway, who cares? Hope you've had a good day wherever you are. Like and subscribe. And um, like I said, introduce yourself over uh, social medias, whatever it is, YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, and uh, say good day. So what am I doing? It's called exercise, folks. This is just one way to do it. There are many people that uh, often uh, try and interject with their different techniques. That is fine. You can do squats many different ways. I'm showing them as a, a method which has been developed by the US military. They spent millions, I mean, seriously, like tens of million dollars developing the most efficient squat, body weight squat and push up technique. And this is how it goes. Roughly shoulder width apart. If you're taller, maybe you want to stand wider. So I will stand a little bit wider because I am taller. I am part of the six foot club. Six foot two and a half to be exact. Stand wide, weight going to the outside of your feet, sitting back into your heels and standing back up. I don't need to do that many today because I've done an hour of squats today, folks. A complete hour. But I'm still going to improve my instruction as is the fringe benefit of Start Building Me, is not only to try and incite people to exercise themselves anywhere where in the world, live or on repeat, as is often done by a lot of the people who are watching Start Building Me. Just come in, breathe, pump the blood around your body because you have to do it, folks. You, you've got to exercise. Like, I really hate to be the, the Grinch. <laughs> the Grinch of reality, but you shouldn't see exercise as some burden. You should really see it as something positive in your life. Like nobody balks at drinking water. Oh, I don't drink water. I just, you know, don't like it. You'll die. That's how you should see exercise. You shouldn't see it as something that you should be trying to weasel out of. You should just see it as something that you do intermittently through the day. Breathe. Take it easy. You should exercise, put in everything through your uh, range of motion with your joints is how you stop your joints getting damaged. 
It sounds counterintuitive to a lot of people, but by not using your joints, they actually get worn out as well. So you've got to put pressure and tension on your joints. You know, you've got to avoid ridiculous amounts of impact, but really you've got to just gently move them through the range of motion. <sighs> Breathe. Just like you're sitting down on a chair and standing back up. That's the unconscious incompetence level is you've seen somebody stand up, you yourself have stood up, you're sitting down on your chair at work and you're standing back up. So to execute that properly, shoulder width, looking straight ahead, breathing in, weight to the outside of your feet, and back up. It's like you're sitting down on something and standing back up. It's really that simple, folks. That's what we're trying to do. How many? The numbers are arbitrary, like I'm always saying. Basically, by doing this once, you're going to require your heart to speed up, to start pumping the blood around, to reoxygenate the blood that you're pumping through your legs. So if you try and get a cadence, a repetition like this down, you'll find yourself slowly and gradually starting to respire more, breathe by breathing more, you're oxygenating your blood, and actually that's how you lose body fat as well, folks, respiration. So most people think that it's burned, but it's actually you breathe the fat out. Funnily enough, if you didn't know that, there's something that you learned today. Respiration is how you lose body fat. Do another few and take a load off. And believe it or not, folks, this is what powers your brain as well. You'll be pumping blood all through your blood vessels. Your body needs it for your lymphatic system to clear your lymphatic system, which is the drainage system of your body effectively. Through your cardiovascular system, getting your heart pumping up into your brain and your blood vessels. Folks, you really need to exercise. <laughs> And it shouldn't be something where it is intimidating or uh, you should be trying to be a bodybuilder or LeBron James or uh, my personal, personal favorite, Laura and Eva, you know, so like a pro surfer. Um, you should really just be doing an exercise so your brain works, right? Consider that. Your brain needs exercise. So people do it for cosmetic reasons. People do it to look good. It's like the last reason to exercise. As what I say to people, that's the fringe benefit of exercise. That's how you benefit from exercise as a side note, right? But what you want to do is just pump the blood around your body. Very simple. Sitting on a chair, standing back up, sitting down on the edge of your bed, standing back up and taking a breather. I can feel my heart rate pumping up. I don't have my Apple Watch on to indicate that, but I just know how it makes me feel. It makes the blood pump into my blood vessels. I feel the blood pressure increasing in my body. It's something once you start getting to that conscious competence level of exercise, you will see the reasons why you exercise, which will make you continue to exercise and never stop again, because you'll feel better, you'll sleep better, your digestive system will work better, you'll get stronger, you'll be more motivated to do anything, everything. Even stuff like your reaction speed for video games will get better. You'll become happier, you'll become a better partner, a better husband or a better wife. It's um, exercising with pregnant will give you a healthier child. Like really, there's just a million reasons to do this, folks. I'm not a salesman. If I was, I would be richer than I am. <laughs> I am just doing this as a, a side effort to try and <laughs> redeem myself for everything that I've done wrong in this world, <laughs> which will take me from here to eternity, folks. I can assure you of that. But until then, let's do some more squats. Two, three, four, five. For me, it's some active recovery. So even after a big session, the lactic acid build up in my muscles, everything seizing up. I can pump the blood through my body, breathe again, and pumping blood into those regions 
in my legs and my glutes will aid their recovery as well. So counterintuitively, for a lot of people, if something aches after exercising, exercise some more and it will make the pain reduce. It will reduce the pain, rather. That makes more sense. I'm just gonna do five more. Let's do a couple of push-ups and get out of here. Uh, it is, of course, the night for The Last of Us or whatever that show is called. The last episode that I watched was absolutely filthy and disgusting. Yuck. Why do they make zombies and everything look so realistic these days? Disgusting. Eating. Trying to eat dinner after stop doing me watching that. What? <laughs> disgusting. Anyway. Getting old. Let's go over here. Go to the floor cam. Do some push-ups. Ah. Now to start with, as I've done, actually that's not true, I did chest yesterday at the gym. So I'm just gonna start here by stretching my wrists. Spread your fingers. Leaning out. Stretching your forearms a little bit, quite essential folks. Really, really important to make sure you d that your wrists <laughs> don't end up like mine. You want, don't want 45 degrees, you actually want 90 degrees, so I'm really trying to strengthen and stretch my wrists. Really trying to improve that. And take a little bit of a break. The last of us. Watch today's episode already. Okay, good. Um, I've already eaten this time, so that's a good start. Uh, I was like watching one of those old medical CD journals that we used to watch growing up to gross ourselves out. Anyway, classic 50, and I'm gonna go out to hopefully not gag up the salmon and sauerkraut that I ate before coming here. Very silly to eat before exercise, I find in my experience anyway. Nonetheless, that's what I've done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like a plank, folks. Dig your toes into the ground. Tense your butt. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there I got 20 out already, so I've just got 30 left. How about that? Humans anyway, not necessarily bad. It's about the human bad guys, not the zombie bad guys. Cool. I like it. I like it already. That sold it to me well. Thank you very much, Jazza Size 5000. I have started the official rebuild today, ladies and gentlemen. Everything is dialed in over the last month. Now I'm good to go. I have calculated that I'm spending about $20 a day on my food. $20 a day on my food, folks, for roughly 2,500 calories, which is my rest and metabolic rate amount. And um, seriously good quality food. So just ex extra virgin olive oil, extra virgin coconut oil, marine triglycerides in the form of fish oil, red salmon, protein formula, bananas, psyllium husk for fiber, and obviously an array of vitamins and minerals, and um, amino acids there, which I won't bore people with, the macronutrients being fat, carbohydrates, and protein. It's really, that's all I need to focus on. I'm doing the same thing every day and eating at the same time every day to show to you exactly what happens to my body over the next three months. Um, it is truly a life-changing experience. In three months, folks, you'll see. Like, I'm 85 now. I'm staying 85, so initially I lost some body fat, and now I'm going to start going up in body weight. I'll be retaining water. Your body goes into that anabolic growth phase where you start sucking in more glycogen into your muscles to recover after you've been doing heavy weight sets. And um, obviously to offset the size, I'll be doing a lot of cardio because I don't want to blimp out and turn into some massive bodybuilding looking guy. I want to stay quite lean to be able to maintain my cardiovascular fitness. But a lot of people are really misinformed 
You know, anybody with muscles these days online, people are like, they're on steroids or they've got good genetics are the two things you hear a lot. Now, good genes is the difference between like a winning Mr. Olympia bodybuilder and like 12th place. Like seriously, the, all the guys in the top are going to be good genetics. Anybody that you see on an NBA team has good genetics. Anybody that's on uh, the, a decent team in a high school soccer team you know, high school soccer team or high school rugby team has good genetics. It's a very big cop out. Uh, and also, as you know, what is it? Epigenetics? Sorry. Uh, yeah, epigenetics, like the genes on top of the genes. We know genes switch on and off. So really like good habit and good health practices as I am trying to instruct here is all that is really required, I believe, to potentially switch on certain genes that give you different characteristics that will improve the quality of your very being. So obviously this is fringe and not very well understood at this stage. And obviously I am talking about stuff that I'm nowhere near qualified to do so, but I have been reading extensively on it and I find it very interesting. So genetics, pretty big cop out folks. Uh, now, steroids, trust me, I can show you pictures of me on steroids, I can show you pictures of me without them. The difference is absolutely nothing apart from the fact that you carry a lot of water weight on steroids. Your muscles are bigger in size, but they're not bigger in quality. They look effectively the same as you had, but just bigger. So, And then there are other ones, steroids, that you can take that might reduce a bit of body fat, but really what they do is they reduce the time of recovery, which means that you can train twice a day and recover for the next day, which is something that you cannot do without them, which is why it suits something like professional sports so well or bodybuilding, because it just means those people can play their sport all day, every day, plus go to the gym and eat in and just have perfect recovery time. This is the purpose of hormones, folks. You have hormones as well. Exogenous hormones are something that you can supplement. It's obviously illegal. It's legal if you've got a lot of money. It's just welcome to the world. That's how everything works. But um, you do not need them. And in three months, basically, that's the other thing. Recovery and time. It really, if you have exogenous hormones, exogenous hormones speed up the process. But really, as I said, you'll get great results in a slower time frame, which is why I'm using three months. In three months, um, like I... The difference between me four weeks ago and even now, like you can't really see it because I've got sort of a very unnatural light in here, but I'm a lot more muscular than I was. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to do 20 more and then get out of here. Uh, show me any TVs or movies. I watched a movie called Pilot with Jared Butler in it. It wasn't too bad. It was the first movie I've watched where I haven't switched it off halfway through, so that's usually a good sign. Um, sort of guy that gets diverted and has to crash a plane and ends up on an island in the Philippines. It's like outside of the uh, Philippines government's regime, so a pretty cool movie. Oh. I've been hustling in Facebook Marketplace looking for cheap dumbbells. People trying to get full price for secondhand wares. What's the word coming to, folks? Absolutely disgusting. I googled something. These dude wanted an adjustable dumbbell set, wanted 650 bucks for it, and they were 500 bucks brand new at Harvey Norman's. <laughs> That's like, my bro, you've got old dust covered things in your garage and you're trying to sell them for more than Harvey Norman, one of the most expensive retailers in Australia is selling them for. That's um, it's pretty low. Pretty low. What is it? Pretty lame, Millhouse. Tense your butt, dig in your feet, look up and breathe. Bit of a stretch in my wrist. Nothing wrong there, I'll have to work on that. But feeling good, all my supplements are going well, my diet kicks butt. It would be something that most people cannot do. And I understand that. Not many people want to eat the same thing at the same time every single day. 
But to me, if it works and it makes me feel good, that is the priority. Um, and like I said, I've had a good crack on it, as Jazz will know. There have been times, folks, where I've had a bottle of whiskey and a kilo of cooking chocolate in one sit-in. So, really, come 40 and not having a serious cardiovascular event is a miracle. And uh, maybe for a few months I should just do some experimentation on my body in the healthy variant. Uh, variant. It's uh, probably, <laughs> probably not a bad path to do to document it as well and show people what's possible for the benefits of science. Trust the science, am I right? Scientists can't be bought, can they folks? Of course they can't. Nothing like politicians. Anyway, let's not try and get banned on Twitch and YouTube. I don't care either way folks. I don't care about any of the political, geopolitical events. I'm just here to teach people the importance of training and exercise and to love yourself and love your body and I love you. I love you, everybody that watches this and does, you know, a bit of exercise. Not just friends, not just family, but anybody, seriously. There needs to be more love on a Yoko Ono and John Lennon fashion out there. Switch off the news and, uh, you know, love your family and love yourself. It sounds really corny. That's, you know, something that would have made me cringe 20 years ago. But myself 20 years ago makes me cringe now. So look how that works. Ten more, let's get out of here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Touch your butt. Nine, ten. Have a good night, folks. See you tomorrow as always. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. I'll never stop saying it, so just do it. Have a good night. Let's start off the week with a bang. See you, Jazz. Thanks as always, mate.